In this analysis video, we'll assess whether this company presents itself as a promising long-term investment option for you and whether the current moment is opportune for purchasing its stock. For this stock analysis, I want you to ignore the news, at least for right now. That's what I'm going to do. We're only going to look at the company. And if you see any news that brings the stock price down, you'll know whether it's a prime opportunity to buy. But for this video, let's focus on the company. In this video, our analysis will be divided into two main categories. The business aspect, which accounts for 75% of the evaluation, and the pricing aspect, which comprises the remaining 25%. For the business, we're going to look at eight metrics and see whether they can give us a clearer picture of the company. Additionally, we'll compare these eight metrics with those of the S&P 500. I believe this comparison offers a more insightful perspective on the company, as it allows us to gauge its performance relative to the broader market. For these eight metrics, the first four, growth, efficiency, dividends, and effectiveness, we want a high number. For the other four, speculation, relative value, mood, and opinion, we want a low number, preferably lower than the S&P 500. You can pause this video and read why I chose each of these metrics. Here, you'll find a comparison of the eight company metrics with the S&P 500. Metrics highlighted in green are awarded two points, while any in red do not receive points. The total points are divided by the maximum possible, resulting in a grade number, representing our company's business grade out of 100. Next, we're going to look at the price, which has only one metric. The fair price is determined using a discounted cash flow model with a 10% margin of safety. Consequently, the stock can be categorized as either expensive, overvalued, fairly priced, undervalued, or a bargain. Here you can see the company's fair price and how much over or undervalued its stock is compared with its current price. There are 10 grades based on the stock's valuation. A grade at 50 is a stock that's fairly valued right now. Any grade above that means the stock is undervalued relative to its stock right now. Now, before we put everything together, join my Patreon. You'll get access to the grades of hundreds of companies and ETFs. It's updated all the time. Link on the screen and in the description. Finally, we're going to put the company's business and price grades together to get our final grade. You can see here the final grade for our company based on a 0 to 100 grade scale. Anything under a grade of 50 isn't worth investing in right now, and a grade above 50 means it's worth taking a look. Remember, news can change everything, and this analysis is a look inside the company, not the noise outside it. Subscribe for more analysis videos. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.